Hey, what's going on guys? It's ETA Prime back here again. Today I'm back with the Razer Forge Android TV and we're going to test out some Dreamcast emulation. This video is probably going to be short because this emulator sucks on this box. I mean, it's pretty bad. I've tried Marvel vs. Capcom 2 and Sonic Adventure 2 on a lot of Android boxes and they seem to run pretty well, but on this thing, it's horrible. We're going to get right into it here. Now this is recast R6. I tried R7 and it's even worse than this. For some reason, I'll press start here. We got the white screen for so long. It usually never does this on other Android boxes or other Android devices. Press start here. And it should load up. I mean, it should have been loaded by now, but it's still at the white screen. These games are running off the internal storage on the Razer Forge. And I'll show you some sound when we get into the game. So it seems to be running pretty well here. And we'll just choose a couple characters. So I'm going to turn the sound up a little bit here so you can hear it. Lots of glitching out on the character sprites. And I've had this happen before. I'm not sure if it's just due to the Snapdragon processor or what. So I gotta say, this time I loaded this game up, it loaded a lot faster. When I tried this game before, I actually tried it twice. At the very beginning of this match, it completely froze for about 10 seconds while the characters were coming on screen. So right now the speed's pretty decent. I mean, it's definitely not full speed. We should be running at 50 frames per second. But it's gonna be pretty unplayable with the characters glitching out like this. It's just not worth trying it out. I mean. I have seen this on other devices also. So we'll back out of this game here and I'll try something else. Next up, we'll try Sonic Adventure 2. So this is the version you can get from the Play Store on your phone. I just side loaded it onto the box here. There are other builds, they're called Recast CI Builds, and the last one was put out last month, the 25th of September, 2016. I'm not sure how many people are developing this Recast emulator still, but this emulator could be amazing if like the guys from Dolphin or something got a hold of this, they could really make this into something special. But it looks like development has really died down on this emulator. Which is a bummer because it's running here. There's no reason they can't optimize this. And I know it takes a lot of time and a lot of effort. And that's probably what it comes down to with these devs. The sound is very glitchy on this game also. Whoa. Couldn't even control it, it was freezing up so bad. I don't know if you can hear this. Just very, very glitchy. There we go. Got lots of glitching on those signs and everything. So to tell you the truth, it is running better than the first few times I tried this game. I did reset the Razer Forge and turn all the other apps off just to make sure, you know, something wasn't running in the background. 
that was killing performance. Oh my gosh, there's no way to even jump when you get off of there. It'll be unplayable, guys. Until something happens with this uh, recast. Some people call it raycast. I call it recast. Until something happens with this emulator, we're not going to have really good performance on a lot of these... Um, Android boxes or Android devices. So I'll back out of this one and we'll try one more game here. So next up, we're going to try Shimu or Shimu 2. I'm not sure if it's even going to launch. On every other device I've tested this game on, I've tried several ROMs here. It has not even passed the first cutscene without crashing the recast emulator. So what I'm going to do is let this first cutscene run its course and see if it crashes. If we get past it, awesome. We'll try the game out. I'm pretty sure it's going to crash though. All right, so we have gotten farther than I have on other devices. Hopefully we can do this. So it's been sitting on the screen for about five minutes and we have no activity. Pretty sure it's not going to start, so I'm going to exit out of this one. It did get a lot further than any other Android box or pretty much any other Android device that I've tested here. Yeah, the whole emulator is frozen right now. I have to go back to the main menu. Well, that sucks, guys. Yeah, to there we go. Totally crashed the emulator like most other Android devices I've tested on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to come back to this. I'm hoping in the next few days or maybe week, they'll put out a new R7 build. And we'll get some performance improvements on these games here. I didn't put many games on here because when I first tested Marvel vs. Capcom, I knew that this emulator was going to struggle on this box. Just because Marvel vs. Capcom does run really good on a lot of other devices. I really appreciate you guys watching. If you could, hit that like button and subscribe. 
I really tried to get this emulator working, trying R6, R7, all kinds of settings. I spent about an hour and a half trying to get this right, and it's, it's just not going to run correctly right now on this Razer. Like always, thanks for watching.